Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Bushoku Tensai Season 2, Episode 23. In the last episode, we obviously had the tragedy of the loss of Paul. Really, really good episode. It just sucks that Paul had to go out in such a brutal way. Um, especially in front of his kid and all of his friends. Um, and all in order to kind of save his wife, who he, yes, they did manage to do. However, we found out now that the that she is in some kind of vegetative state, it looks like. She's awake, she's conscious, but I don't know if she's kind of all there. She doesn't seem to be. I hope it's something that she can kind of recover from. I don't know. In, in, in I think in a lot of cases, when it gets to this point, it's like, that's it. That's how you're going to be from now on. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. I'm very much looking forward to this episode. I believe this is the uh, semi or semi-season finale, I think. Yes, yes it is. Semi-season finale, so we'll see how uh, the season is going to end off. Um, but yeah, as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, uh, look back into the other world. Interesting. Jeez. So many regrets he has. Oh, his arm. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't think he deserved to have lived. That's messed up. Oh, he's finally cried. Damn, bro. Oh, it's Roxy. Damn, bro. Need to eat. Look at your cheekbones. Maybe she can just stay here with you, so you're not alone. No. Okay. Oh no, she's here. Oh, Roxy. Still in, you still ain't told the scale that you're married. She's trying to help Rudy, come on. And you had changed slightly for the better, well, a lot for the better since you're old world, though. It's nice that he's got Roxy here, just to hold him like this. She's being awfully close with him right now, I know. A bit more than a... just a kind way. Um, 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 um... No, no. No, no. Rudy, please. Rudy, no. No. Mm, Rudy, come on, please. Rudy. Tell her. Rudy. Oh, fuck. Oh, for God's sake. Rudy. He's in a vulnerable state. I get that, but... Fuck. Mm, f physically, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Mentally, I guess, but... Oh, God. I... I, th I think that was such a mistake. Get some food in you, man. Jesus, you look dead. How about the family you got back home, you know? Yeah, checking if the coast's clear. Oh, Alina Lees. Oh, shit. <sighs> Her grandchild. I can't believe he hasn't told her yet. Oh, God, she's not even able to keep food in. Shockingly well physically. Well, that's that's one good thing. Okay. But, like, she's lost her memory, including her ability to speak words. Magical impairments. Okay. Really? Shit. Well, I mean, I expected that anyway. Why don't you both just go and live at, like, Rudy's house? 
No, she's, she's saying you gotta live your life. Don't let this hold you back. Is she able to walk by herself or is she like having to be carried? Damn. Roxy must know by now. Like, she's going home to see these people. Really still not in a good state. Has he ate yet? Oh, he looks, he looks better in the face. Oh, Rudy, please tell her. What? Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, it does seem like it. You need to go see your wife. Which hasn't happened. You have. But, again, moment of weakness. Oh, Christ. Her face hasn't changed. You know? You knew and you still did that? Bro! Yeah, you did. I mean, if Sylphie wasn't in the picture, that, that would not be true at all. Jeez, man. I really don't know what to feel about this situation now. <laughs> Obviously you, you idiot. Damn. <laughs> Before she even knew he was Rudy. Yeah, she definitely will. Or would if she was there as well. <sighs> I'll give it like that did help him. Like he seemed better afterwards, but still, ugh, messy situation. Mm. What are you about to say, boy? Good. Good decision, Roxy. Again, moment of weakness. Oh, damn, this thing's covered in snow. Because there's a different season. Oh, so he, he couldn't show them where the teleporters were located. Okay. How does Alina Lee's feel about, uh... What happened? Mm -hmm. What is she getting out here? Yeah. Are you suggesting he has more than one wife? Now that I'm on the receiving end, wow. I, I guess it's a different culture. And if you're getting the okay from Grandma... Please can Sylphie have a say in this? Can Roxy hear this or is she just crying because... Thinking about the situation. Different culture and all. Obviously, this doesn't meld right in my head and other people's heads. But, like, I just can't imagine what this would do to Sylphie. Yeah, man. Yeah, like Father Lexon. I don't know how Zenith got through that, but she did, and she was happy, and she was friends of Lilia, and... <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess the initial stage is probably going to be really hard on Sylphie. Yeah. Mm, uh, well, I don't know. Sylphie's a really good person. I don't know. Yeah, very true. I, you know what, I think... I think Roxy would... Say yes in this case. I just don't know about Sylvie. There's no way everybody in the tents did not hear that entire conversation. Okay. Damn, she's been told a lot. Yeah, you may as well just come out of it. 
And that's how you propose to someone? Oh, here we go. She's she's obviously confused. <laughs> what a way to propose to someone. Hey, do you want to change your second name? I would say yes. Yeah. I know he's already said that he won't love Roxy the same way he loves Sylphie, so I guess if he's able to marry the both of them, he loves them in different ways, but like just the idea of loving someone that much and then loving someone else also that much as well is kind of crazy to me. Right, so that was Mushoku Tensai Season 2, Episode 23. <sighs> wow, uh, that was something of an episode. That was, I mean, it was a good episode. Um, I just really wasn't kind of expecting that. Part of me kind of was expecting that in some some form. I don't know if it was that, though. Um, Yeah, Rudy and Roxy did it. Um, And then Rudy's decided that he loves her as well. And I think a part of him's always loved her in that kind of way ever since he was like a young child. Um, Yeah, uh, obviously the kind of marriage will kind of situation and relations and, you know, the physical side of things as well is very different in this world. It's different in these cultures, unless obviously you're a part of uh, the kind of religion there. Um, so it's, from an outside point of view, from a w real world point of view, it's like, what the hell is really doing here? But I can see this the side of things that's like, it's different for them. It's different for Rooney. Obviously, it's a it's a bit more confusing in Rudy's head as well because he's come from Japan, um, so he's kind of trying having to change with the culture. But he really truly does have a real love for both of them, which I respect. It's not just kind of a physical thing, or he just you know he kind of likes one or the other. <sighs> yeah, well, um, damn, that was interesting semi-season finale. I guess we're going to see what's going to happen in the final episode. We're going to see Sylphie's reaction. We're going to see Sylphie's reaction to it. Um, obviously, we're going to really going to have to explain to the others as well uh, the passing of Paul and what's obviously happened to Zenith. But I'm glad that Zenith and Lilia are coming home to with Rudius to live at home so they can be one big family and they can kind of take care of each other there. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode. I am definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.